Well, they're celebrating in England today, so we figured we'd celebrate here. <laughs> so we're celebrating. Mm -hmm. There you go. You're getting into the spirit. Mark and Terry Pollard, the owner of Bread Euphoria in Haydenville. We're making some English tea sandwiches to celebrate. Yes, we are. We are. <laughs> and oh. they're traditionally, they seem uh, so dainty to me. I want to eat them with my pinkies up because they're little sandwiches. <laughs> they're and the snack food. Exactly. So how does one start making the snack food? Oh, we start with the bread. All right. So. And we're using, uh, and the, the whole trick is thinly sliced bread. Okay. So it can be thin, thin slices. Big slices. And I can thin only assume. Thin sliced white bread. I can nice only assume this is a, a small child's treat because oh, kids hate the crust on their sandwiches. So this gives you it the is. opportunity to have a crust-free sandwich. That's yeah, right. absolutely. And it's good for uh, people with dentures or anything like that, too. <laughs> That's true. Makes it easy. Yeah. Okay. So some of the things you can put on. Now, cucumbers is um, very traditional. Or do you uh, have to use a specific type of cucumber? No. I like to peel it before I slice it up. I would go with an English cucumber. That's what Absolutely. I was wondering. Yeah. Yeah. You can go with an English, yeah. yeah. So a little <laughs> butter. You go shopping. Ashley, the, Ashley, when she goes grocery shopping, she takes one of the English cucumbers and then uses it to get everything else down from the shelves. Yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> you weren't supposed to tell We're both short that. people. Really? <laughs> yeah. I've been sharing secrets of yours this week. I, I know. apologize. Yeah. I know. No, that's okay. That's all right. It's, it's happens little, when you're short. All right. So you put some little salt, salt and A little salt and pepper and some cucumbers. It's pretty easy. Very easy. And then, uh, last but not least, you slice them up into little triangles. And now you put butter on there, just not any type of okay. low-fat butter. You put on the real no, stuff. No, full fat. Full fat, full fat butter. butter. Full fat. This really is awesome, you know, because when you're a kid, you always want your mom or dad to cut your sandwiches in triangles. I think you they want <laughs> crustless. That's, you're so excited about that. And here's, um, here's some Scottish smoked salmon. This is also... All right. Also a very traditional thing and exactly. delicious. And Mark, you're from England, is that right? I did, that's, yes, I was born and uh, raised there. Did you have I don't your sound like it anymore, but... <laughs> did you have your fair you share could. of tea sandwiches? I did. I like I like the biscuits or the cookies better, though. And that's what we're going to be making later. Yeah, we're going to be making scones. Oh, traditional English scones. All right, so you put butter on this one as well? Put butter on them I'm all. I'm seeing a theme Oh, on here. all yeah. of them. And, that's it? Uh, that's it. This, these are up. so easy. I was gonna say, if you're making, if you're having a, a dinner party, a lunch, these are where it's at. Yeah, um, hey, I couldn't find any watercress, but watercress is also great. What is a watercress? It's a little green plant that grows in streams. And one would use that like instead of cucumbers yep. in a sandwich. Yep. Easy enough. Can you combine and, and, these? Things? And sometimes you put cream cheese down too. Ooh, cream cheese. Um, ham is really good. Do you want to do one more? Yep. Yeah. And this is one of my favorites: is anchovy paste. Really? That's and nice and salty, right? It's super salty. Comes in a tube. Dead easy. Now, <laughs> okay, make your, it is. Make your it own what's easier, what's e <laughs> We'll make it look pretty. What's easier than food in a tube? Food <laughs> <laughs> in a tube. That you can watch on the tube. Yep. Food. Uh, and uh, of course, a little butter. Is this a popular choice mm -hmm. in London, the, the anchovy paste and butter? Mm-hmm. If I had to it, rank them, it wouldn't it be on my crowd. number I don't one. Know about. This is you? Yeah, no, that's great. You that's do this one. I'll do ham and cucumbers. <laughs> you want to do it? Jerry, which ones are your favorite? I like the cucumber yeah. and Cucum the ham. Cucumber is really good in the summertime. Nice okay. and it's fresh really and good. light. And the exactly. crust is great. Bread too. is this again? Uh, bread euphoria bread. <laughs> bread euphoria bread. <laughs> it's um, just a it's white, white bread. Loaf. It's a white loaf. Easy enough. Looks nice and. Hey, look, we could do this Let's all day and you go, can have a, go a at it. appetizing. <laughs> okay, that looks nice. So those are for our tea party later, right? Yes, tea sandwiches? Yes, yes. Thanks so much. So Jerry, if you don't mind, stick around, make a few sandwiches because we're gonna need to steal Mark from all you right. for a second. <laughs> what goes better with a celebration of all things royal more than some traditional English scones? All things, I, you, today's a hand day. I love it. It's a very royal day because we're back. <laughs> With Mark and Jerry Pollard, the owners of Bread Euphoria in Haydenville, and we're doing more royal treats. We're doing an ancient English treat at the scone. Yep. Delicious. The cream scone. The yeah. cream, cream scone, because scone. you know you need as much cream as you can right. in your daily life. <laughs> well, I hear this is double cream. We do. We have Devon double cream to put on afterwards. Sounds like it. a dream. Yeah. Yeah. What is double cream anyway? Um, double the cream. Clotted cream. It's they, cream. They, clot, they, they heat yeah. it and thicken it, and it's delicious. I. Bet it is. Let's let's uh, move along so we can try it. So what do you say? What, 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 you're making what we're, mix, yep, we're mixing the um, dry ingredients first. It's uh, flour, sugar, baking powder, and some salt, and uh, that'll be our dry base. And then um, these scones just have cream. Usually, some scones are made mostly with butter and with a liquid. So but there's these no are egg just, in this. No egg. Some scones do have egg, but I think of scones more without egg. <laughs> 
traditionally, oh. but um, yeah, these have no eggs. So if you you don't you can't eat eggs, this is great for you. Now, so. now is there something to do with England and scones? Is it a, is there a history I'm there? Take a little. Sorry, a little there is, noisy. but I don't know what like it the is. Background noise. That's right. Well, did you grow up eating scones in, in England when you I grew did, up yeah. in England? See, so you I mean it was and, something that you. And what, had one thing as a Americans child. don't do is they don't put things on their scones like the English do. You know, we love English love to split them open and put strawberry jam and clotted Tons cream, of yummy stuff. or sometimes fresh <laughs> strawberries, lemon curd. Oh, we have some of that in our. You know, most people just grab just grab a scone from the bakery or and the coffee shop. And just break pieces. Yeah. Right. Well, we're gonna do it the that's traditional kind of English yeah. way today. Yes, we are. Uh, it's hard to do that on the fly. Oh, that's true. So when it you're is, when, when you're driving, you're, or when you're driving yeah. with your coffee, we're always um, on the go. That makes sense. <laughs> I know. So we're gonna add the currants. Uh, after the dry ingredients, we'll, we'll add the currants. currants. Yep. yep. Black and for currants. people out there who don't know, because frankly, I, I don't really. What, what's the taste of a black currant like? It's a lot like a raisin. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's a little, it's a little bit more sweeter, concentrated. Um, I think. And they're a little smaller. Smaller. But. And it can be you pretty could, tart. You could substitute dried cherries or raisins. Mm. What about okay. anything chocolate? With, you, you could. You could, chocolate? You could okay. do that too. Yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah. What about pickles? That you could. Did I stump yeah. you? I was <laughs> kidding. No, I was kidding. I don't know. Cravings. I don't With know. the yeah, rage of preg preg paste, preg you pregnant would women like may like that. That's true. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to add our cream. And this is heavy yeah, looking cream. Yeah, this is heavy cream. This is local cream, the best. This, you can this get. is from Hadley and it's very yeah. thick. Now this very is one thick. of those things, you can't cut it with light cream. You need to do heavy cream, is that right? Yeah. Because yeah. otherwise you don't no. get yeah. the, the, the kind of the, the pastry that you know. Yeah. So it's going to so come rich. together. And the trick with scones is you really don't want to over mix them. That's the huge thing. What so just as this comes together. Now see if as you it's, over mix them, what happens? They just sort of like fall flat and they're not as tender um, they inside. Get tough. They get oh. tough. This is, yeah. yeah, so there's a real, you really got to pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. Don't fall asleep at the mixture. Yeah. Right, no. no goofing off when so you're making I need a little bit more. <laughs> Grab me my... Well, anyway, so now once you, once little. that is finished, just for the sake of time, TV, on TV, yep. Oh, yep. the next process is... Or the next We're going to take is, it out say. of the, um, I actually need some more cream. Sorry, I have to disappear. No, no problem. Be, no put problem. a little flour down and roll yep. it out. Yep. And then what you're going to do is cut them into uh, these shapes. So you, you roll them out and then they, they plump up and they look like they're triangles? Yeah. yeah. You cut them We're into triangles. We're going to roll it into a circle. You place it on your parch parchment covered uh, sheet tray and bake them. See, okay. As soon as this comes well, how about together. a little bit later in the show? How about we mold okay, them up it. and yep. throw them in the oven, shall we? Yes. All right. Perfect. Yes. Sounds and like I'm gonna throw some like double plan. cream on my scone. <laughs> sounds so good. So we're gonna finish this up start. later. Thank you so much. Don't you go anywhere. There's more mass appeal coming up right after this. Wait, it's time to finish up our scones. We're gonna head back to the kitchen with Mark and Jerry Pollard. They're the owners of Bread Euphoria in Haydenville, and we've mixed our batter. Yes. So we've yep. taken it out of the mixer and we've sort of gathered it together. It seems more Looks dense perfect. than a lot of pastries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then um, we're gonna roll it out. I mean, yeah, it's it's got a lot of weight to a body. <laughs> Cre being cream and flour. That's it, true. It looks like it's easy and to then, work with. Sometimes yeah, it can be really bad. A, so a pain. we'll usually roll it into a circle and then we are gonna take a um, actually I've got a bench knife over oh, here. Okay. Not everybody might have this. You can use a, a knife at home. Now can Ashley and I try our hands at this? Yeah. yeah. So we're trying Come to achieve right. triangles. We're trying to achieve triangles? <laughs> Ashley, so, would you like to try first? Triangles. No, you can go. I you can't change a baby, out. but I might be able to do this. There How about something go. like this? <laughs> Not nice. a problem. There nice. we go. That yeah. one. Save that one for me. Yeah. That one's huge. <laughs> Here we go. And then once again, if people aren't fans of black currants or maybe they're they don't want to try them, what are some other alternatives you can put in your scones? Raisins, um, dried cherries, yeah. any dried apricots, fruit. Apricots, any Apri kind of pretty much yeah. dried Chocolate. fruits. Sky's the limit. Yeah. Chocolate. Whatever you want. Yeah. So now we put them on there. Do we grease yep. the pan beforehand? You yep. could. We use parchment paper. That works a lot better. So you don't have to grease when you use parchment paper. Nope. Mm, nope. That keeps it from oh, sticking. That, I bet yeah. you save a couple calories too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And, and then, you can also roll these out and cut them into circles you too. You don't have yeah, to do triangles. To. Paint it with a little oh. bit of cream. This is just, is this heavy Make cream? Make that one smaller yep. too if you want. Now, what just is the cream? Just to make sure we get enough cream. So it's it, not buttered. Why, why, would, why, why cream, I guess, is my question. Uh, it browns. Square one, it, there oh, you go. It you, you That looks good. You, that's where you get this lovely brown. <laughs> well, they almost look like they're, they're <laughs> fake. They're so yeah. perfect. You can put that, squish it back together. So right, right, is that the right amount of cream? Oh, perfect, perfect. I'm going outside the oh, box so right now. Yeah. Yes, you really are. This is nice. <laughs> that's a square one. Wait for yeah. it. I'm waiting. 
And, gonna get a rectangle. and these are big, so we serve these for morning pastries, so they're like a portion for breakfast, and, but you can make them smaller, like for tea, you know, some people like them in a smaller... Um, little bite size? Yeah. And then oh, we exactly. have this stuff, it's called um, sanding sugar. <gasps> oh, I love it. Is that purely it. for Sparkles. aesthetics? It gives it a little yeah. crunch. It, it looks, it looks good. It doesn't, it doesn't add a lot of sweetness, but it gives it a little crunch in it. Well, gives it a nice little, to have. Gl little glisten. Yeah. And mixing it up it looks a little good. bit. Yeah. It looks perfect. Look at those scones. And then, Here. how long do you bake them for? At what temperature? Uh, 350 for about 20 minutes. 350 until, until they're golden. Yeah, you, you want to go brown. by the color too. Until your um, kitchen yeah. smells, nice so smells good yes. and it's right. golden brown, just like this. Yeah. All right, and then, in, and then once they're done, we have some scones cut right over here. What are some things that you top them with? So my favorite thing is uh, double Devon cream, or clotted cream. And it's this very thick cream. Hey, okay, I'm intrigued oh. to taste that. Mm. Me too. Oh. This is, if you ever go to Wimbledon, um, they put this with fresh strawberries on the scones. Oh, how nice is that? It looks a lot like butter. Does it taste like butter? Yeah. It's better Give than butter. Yeah, that. that's I right, it is. It, it is, is better it than is butter. It is better than butter, oh. <laughs> I, I, and I can't then, go on uh, unless I sample. <laughs> I wish I don't, we could do you want, do you want a little jam on it too? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Jam. I'm not gonna say no to anything. Put the jam. Okay, I'm gonna put a little jam. And on. and lemon curd is great as well. And um, you can make your own lemon curd at home. It's not too difficult. How do you make lemon curd? Um, you take le fresh lemons. There's eggs in it, um, sugar, and you have to do it. It's heated over a water bath. So but, it's a process, but it yeah, seems like a fun not, process. Yeah, it's not yeah. too difficult. Oh well, I'm gonna go ahead gosh. and grab we this. We don't even one. have to go to Wimbledon. We're getting this no, that's right. delicious treat. Mm. Would you Give like some, Jerry? Oh. I'm good. You're good. Right. Are you I'm sure? Try, yeah, so. I want you to yes. eat that. Right. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's cheers. Cheers. Pinkies up. Pinkies up. Oh yeah, Pinkies. I'm trying to think I of a good that. British word right now, <laughs> but I, I can't think. Don't go anywhere. More Master Peel coming up right after this. Royal food. Mm.